guys, it's Auntie Lani here. I just want to make a, a quick video to the girls out there on how to keep their vagina smelling fresh, smelling beautiful, you know, um, feeling good, tasting good, smelling good, all that good stuff. So, okay, so obviously sometimes your vagina can smell, but sometimes it's a medical reason. So, if you have BV or thrush or anything like that, there's loads of over-the-count over um, medicines and medications and prescription stuff and la 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 stuff to do with the doctor that can help sort you out so that's like more like you know serious but if you take the right pills or put the stuff right stuff up, up there it will sort the problem out another reason if you do if you are smelling is you may have a sexually transmitted disease <laughs> there are sexually transmitted diseases that will make your vagina stink i think the media makes your vagina smell like you will know like your your vagina should have a natural scent you will know when something's wrong because it'll be like fuck what is that sorry let me not swear so if you have a sexual transmitted disease one of the signs is that your vagina smells so if you think something's wrong down there you go get tested boo if you don't want the, the embarrassment of walking into a center they do have um stuff you can buy online like home testing kits i think they even have a hiv one um I don't know if you can test every disease because there is more than like the bait, bait ones. There's more than gonorrhea, chlamydia, um, HIV. Do you know what I mean? There's like these undercover ones. So it's better to go after you've got tested. It's better to go and get tested for everything because it's just more well-rounded. So other tips. Let's just say you haven't got STD and um, BV. Or thrush any of that stuff your vagina you just want tips on how to make it fresh and nice maybe you're about to you know go with a boy somewhere and you just want to make sure that everything's great now my number one tip is your vagina needs to breathe so when you can let it breathe let it breathe now it's uh, um bacteria grows in warm climates warm damp damp climates so it's warm in summer if you live in a hot country i, I don't like if you can sleep with a fan with your legs wide open with the sheets off great i live in a cold country so it's not too hot and sticky but i still don't sleep with my knickers on you need to just l let it hang out you need to let it hang out not knickers at night at all no underwear mm -mm. we're letting our vagina breathe another thing is do not wear too much tight clothing all the time and too often because air doesn't get in there and a vagina a vagina really needs to breathe a vagina not breathing is a really big deal and it's one of the reasons that vaginas smell so let your baby breathe and you'll be good another piece of advice i can give you is you need to drink loads of water you need to keep hydrated your body you need to take care of your body you know you know they say you are what you eat it's actually true i eat a lot of shit sometimes but i also eat good stuff you need to cleanse your body you need to eat vegetables drink water fruits just the good stuff because you nourish your body and it affects your entire situation i'm sure you've heard that saying that if you eat pineapples it also makes you taste good down there your body it just works it all it's all connected so what you put in there is what is is can affect your skin and how you taste and how you smell so i would say don't eat too much shit don't eat too many oily things make sure you eat fresh foods and of course you can enjoy and have treats but make sure you eat fresh foods and make sure you drink lots of water i drink as much water as i can if you work in a company or you're at school and there is free water keep filling it up keep filling it up drink that water another thing is just make sure you wash down there with warm water and um you're not really supposed to put soaps and all this stuff there because the body is in the vagina is a natural cleanser and like discharge comes out and that's like natural cleansing of the vagina and you're also not supposed to wash too much you're just not supposed to wash like enough and warm water is good enough just putting the water there you know i you know there are vaginal vagina washes that are non-scented and, and don't have too much stuff in them if you're going to use them i'll tell you to use a little bit but honestly the doctor told me just you take water and you just put it on your vag and it just literally cleanses it another thing as well is when you go to the toilet and you do a number two it's also the way you wipe you don't want the bacteria from your number two to go to your number one so you need to wipe um is it front to back front to back yeah 
keep your anus separated from your vagina you'll be great another thing as well is if you're having unprotected sex you need to like wash after and you need to pee after because it's a lot of bacteria and it's a lot of um it, it's too fluid i would advise you not to have unprotected sex for many people because those fluids those bodily fluids they stay in you and they can just become yucky and mucky and it can also affect your vagina smelling because your vagina has to react to all these different penises and vagina sorry your, this is a vagina it reacts to all these penises it's not a good look right underwear you know how your vagina has to breathe um cotton i think has the most is the, the most breathable underwear and also smells um don't retain in cotton un panties so so it's good to wear cotton panties but a lot of underwear lacy underwear puts they have a little cotton bit on the actual knickers and so it's, it's important to wear those type of um knickers also don't get tight underwear i don't my underwear is loose and nice I just get underwear in my actual size and make sure I get it large. Like, I, I'm not going to go and get some tiny thong that's going to dig into me. I wear it every day to work. That's not wise. Don't do that. Um, the most thing I could say as well is if you go on holiday and stuff like that, and like, all, all your knickers are wet, don't wear damp underwear. You might as well just go commando. You need to keep the vagina dry, like, dry with, like, clothes and and you know what i mean because that's when bacteria grows you need to keep it washed and you need to give it air and it'll be fine and you need to make sure it hasn't it's not been infected and you will be absolutely fine breathing water air yeah breathing water air and and and, and, and washing it regularly will allow your vagina to breathe um also vaginas are obviously skin they 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 like um you can sweat so something a trick i do is i actually put just a little bit of deodorant over here i wanted to show you i put it right here just there not inside just the top there because it's all sweaty and it all it's all it's all connected you're sweating you're sweating everywhere so put a bit there and it actually makes a difference and it'll make your underwear not smell as bad and i think it's important for your underwear not to smell too bad because the smell of vagina can just like seep through clothes other people other people will realize that your your vagina is smelling through your knickers because it is it's even smelling on the top it's hard to get the smell out of um lace as well so putting a bit deodorant there allows you not to smell and then just lastly like even if you're if you're if your boyfriend or your girlfriend's taking off your underwear and they sweat there and it smells it's just not positive and it's just not a good look but guys i hope that was really helpful and if you enjoyed that video please subscribe to my channel and if you didn't then i'm sorry <laughs> But I just hope I helped you with my advice and we can all have great smelling vaginas, great tasting vaginas. That's what we want in it. Okay, guys, make sure you subscribe and like and share. Um, I'll see you soon. It's Lani, good, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs>